Buffalo chicken pizza. Oh, that's right. You heard me say it. Buffalo chicken pizza. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Seemed like a very casual uh, way to enter today's episode. And we are making a buffalo chicken pizza. And we're going to make everything ourselves. Mm, except the chicken. So technically, not everything. But the dough, yes. Ding. The blue cheese sauce. Ding. And maybe that's it. But it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Okay, so the dough needs to be made quickly. This is processor dough. Makes in like two minutes. And then you let it sit. But So here we go. We start with two cups of all-purpose flour. And if I was Guy Fieri, which I'm not, I would call it AP flour. But you know, I can say all-purpose. I don't have a problem saying that. After the flour, we go with a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of sugar, a package of instant yeast. It's not the same as the regular. A tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and three quarters of a cup of hot water. And I say warm water because if it's hot, it will kill the yeast. Then we put the lid on and we uh, spin the processor for about uh, 30 seconds until the dough comes together. It forms into a bowl. You take it out and you put it in a greased bowl. We want to put a little bit extra olive oil on the top. We're going to cover it with saran and put it in a warm place to rest for about an hour. All right. That's uh, sitting on my stove. The stove is off, but it's kind of a warm area, so we'll just leave it there. 45 minutes, an hour, it'll double in size, then it will be ready to turn into pizzas. For us, a very delicious buffalo chicken pizza. But buffalo chicken pizza requires a blue cheese sauce that we will now make in this bowl. So we start with a half a cup of mayo, and of course I'm using, wait, never mind, I'm using mayo. Just mayo, doesn't have any other name. I don't know what you want to call it. I just call that mayo. Quarter cup of sour cream, quarter cup of milk, Worcestershire. By the way, everyone says you say that wrong. Well, everyone can kiss my ass. How do you say it? Worc wor Worcester. There's not one person on the fucking planet that can say that properly. Outside of the UK. I don't even think they can do it. You line up 100 people, you get 100 different pronunciations of this. Worcestershire is what it looks like. It's not what they say. Worcestershire is, I think, what I say. Worcester. Worcester sauce. It's not just Worcester. You'd have to take out Worcester. You'd have to take out these middle letters. Just, what the? Kosher salt for my Jewish hating friend. Fresh ground black pepper. And the star of the sauce, about a third of a cup of blue cheese crumbles. It looks like that. And then just mix. So I'm going to try and smash up some of these crumbles along the way to help thicken it. So you're, you're in a sense, making a little um, a blue cheese salad dressing. I mean, you don't just have to use it here. The extra that you make, stick in a container, put it in the fridge, bring it out for a salad tomorrow night, put it on some tomatoes the night after that. You're gonna be really happy. Okay, and it's almost go time. We prep our chicken next. And it gets a little sauce. Comprised of some butter. Let that start to melt. Hot sauce. Of course. Don't be shy with this, because this is the important part. Lewis! Then let that melt together. And when it does, we add some chicken. Deli roasted, pulled apart while it was still warm and we mix it in. And when it's mixed together, turn off the heat and just let it sit. And after about an hour, there we are. Our dough has risen, it's doubled, and it's ready to be made into pizza. So, you gotta like that. And here you go, it smells great. So we're gonna take it out, we'll put a little flour down here. We want our guy to come out. Guy. Is this our guy? Is this our girl? What's pizza dough? We discussed the other day, donuts were, we believe, female, right? What is pizza dough? And this would make like one beautiful big pizza, or in our case, we're going to cut it in half and make two smaller ones. So now we just need to flatten this guy out. And your fingers are going to help you do that. A little flour is going to help you do that on both sides. 
And look, I've been cooking a long time. I haven't been making pizza a long time, but I can tell you that this is not an exact science unless you really have your shit down. You wanna get it a little thinner than not. Look, because it's been sitting out, the glutens have relaxed, and this is gonna help you. If you have ice cold pizza dough, you just can't stretch it. After a few minutes of giving it much love, you'll start to get it exactly where you want it, which in our case is gonna be about here. There's a hole. Okay, and when it's where you want it, which is not where I want, this is not working for me very well. You see this right here, like it's thin? So just try and, you know, repair your holes. You're gonna be fine. It's relatively forgiving. Forget about round. Look, unless you work in a pizza place, round is just a dream, man. I dream about round pizzas, and what I get is South Africa. I don't know how to make that, and I just can't, I can't get it the way I want. Piss on it. It is what it is, it's gonna be great. F okay, now the dough's ready. We're gonna get it on our peel, which is right here. And to help us get it off our peel, we're gonna use a little cornmeal. It's gonna work like little baby ball bearings. Lewis! So the dough will go on. Now here's what we do. A little of the blue cheese sauce goes on. Not too much, but we do want it, you know, up to the edges and stuff. Next, some of this chicken that we've worked beautifully to get all buttered and hot sauced. I'm telling you right now, I know how good this is gonna be, because I've had it and you're gonna want it. Hey, just come over. If you put too much on, you're just gonna be sorry because it's gonna make this an unwieldy pizza. And the final touch is it's a little mozzarella cheese. Oh boy, is this gonna be good. And that's it. You don't need to go crazy with the cheese. So now because we have it on our peel with these little cornmeal ball bearings, you can see it moves beautifully. Let's go uh, throw it in our little pizza oven. And in we go. So I'm using a little oven, it's called an uni. It's small, it's portable, the legs come down, the smokestack comes off, and it cooks at about seven, 800 degrees with a little gas attachment. This is gonna take us only about three and a half, four minutes maybe to cook this whole pizza. We're gonna turn it around a couple times and it's gonna be outstanding. So you can see, look, it's only been a few seconds and that's happening. And in. Look at that, it's been, uh, so the black is cool. It's just cheese, it's super hot. This thing's fucking. Oh, that was fucking dangerous. You gotta get out of the way. Back up, back up, back up, back up. And when the pizza's ready, pull it out, and it's go time. Look at that. Add a little cilantro, and we cut. Oh my, you should smell from here. Blue cheese, chicken, spicy, gosh. And now we eat. Look, we've gone from light to dark while this was being shot, but here's the end result. Cheesy, fuck. Fuck bells, God damn it. Okay, so it's time to eat, and look, we've uh, gone from light to dark during this episode, but here's the result. Cheesy, gooey, chickeny, look, spicy with the hot sauce, and... The church bells are going off, signifying the... Stop. Crazy deliciousness of this. What are they trying to do to me? Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap. Oh, sorry. Oh, crap. The church has got me all. Mm. Look, whether you make your own dough and then three minutes and let it sit for 45 or an hour, you buy a bag dough from the supermarket or you use one of those pre-made crusts. Just make this. You'll be so glad you did. So glad. And Max, behind, who shoots and edits, just posted his own little behind the scenes vlog. Check that out. I think you'll like it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for liking. I've said it before, it means an awful lot to us that you hang out here with us. Thanks.
Hey, don't go yet. There's more great Sam the Cooking Guy episodes you can watch. And don't forget to subscribe and even check out the description for links to things we might have used in the show.